Well, congratulations, deputy. You got me in the lockup now. I knew the game was up just as soon as poor old Brownie stepped into that stupid prairie dog hole. But don't pat yourself on the back just yet. The gallows from which I'll swing hasn't even been built. The news at Ringo's in jail spread like wildfire. Almost as fast as the news that nobody but yours truly knows where the loot from the stagecoach is hidden. <laughs> Plead not guilty, you say. Why on earth would I do that? The thing with the stagecoach was my work. Well, that's obvious enough. So what? I've got no regrets. In this life, I've had lots of friends. Great fun, a pile of loot, and plenty of girls. But what do you got? Just an old tin star in a one-horse town. A couple of bucks, and plenty of trouble. Why, this place hasn't even got a judge. You think they'll thank you for your efforts? In the end, you'll die in your boots, and they'll just toss your badge right into your grave. Ha! <laughs> Business is grand. I've been to all the major towns, Santa Fe, Kansas City, Abilene, St. Louis, wherever there was something going on. I've even taken champagne baths. I rode with the youngers like Billy the Kid and even Jesse James. <laughs> what fun that was. And mark my words, my pals ain't gonna let me hang. All you gotta do is give me the key. Then you can ride with us. <laughs> Think it over before they get here, all right? And after all, what are you gonna get from those city slickers but curses and abuse when my boys start really stirring up the dust around this dump? Me and the gang built a real town one time. Even had a real saloon with an actual piano. We just helped ourselves to whatever we needed. Stole entire covered wagons, we did. <laughs> then we rode out and threw over a whole bunch of banks. Okay, it wasn't always easy in the early days, let me tell you. At first, all we had was a lousy shack and a couple of boys with fast colts. Welcome back to America, no peace beyond the line, and welcome to the first scenario in the Outlaw campaign. And here we go. We do start with a couple of outlaws as well as the band leader. These outlaws here, who are, because we are orange, they look like they're wearing these, these warning vests. They are just basic workers. They can fight, but as all combat units or like basic combat units, they're very weak. We're going to get something else soon, but before that, we shall take over this base here. As you can see, all the outlaw stuff. We haven't seen any of that yet. They don't appear in the native or the Mexican campaign. It all looks very like old west towny. We have a distillery now, so these buildings are ours now. We shall build a base for the time being. Yeah, let's build one. Where? Let's build it close to the gold mine. What is okay? Yep, and we have these distilleries here. So distilleries can produce food because these guys here live on liquor e exclusively. They don't have any fields, it's just liquor. And you have to queue up this, this liquor here, you need lumber for that. So I guess we are, we're making alcohol out of wood. Let's hope it's not wood alcohol because that would be rather unhealthy. Makes you go blind and stuff. But before we do any of that, let's get some lumber. Come on. And before we do that, let's get uh, let's get let's get the maximum number of outlaws we can get here. So you cut me some trees here. I'm going to build a build a sawmill soon, or rather our equivalent building. Also, this this headquarters here it looks pretty nice, and it comes with two gallows. And the gallows comes with they come with corpses already. So I guess we're just carrying those around. I'm okay with that. So a carpentry shop, we want that soon, uh, but one of you can already start mining some gold here. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it in the long run because we're going to use that for some upgrades here. This first mission here is not particularly difficult. There's not a whole lot of pressure on you, but at the same time the game doesn't really do the best job of explaining any of the mechanics all that well, so yeah, there's that. 
Also, you need a lot of distilleries if you want to brew some liquor here. We're not going to do that right now because we want a carpentry shop first. So we can get easier access to all that lumber. I maybe should do that over here because I think there's more more lumber there in the long run. But first you guys here can deliver your lumber and then we need just five more. And then we can get that carpentry workshop. In fact, you can all just come over here. It's going to make it easier. There we go and here we go. And the same goes for you. You will need a lot of lumber guys as the outlaws, but you also have have that balanced with the fact that we don't need any field workers. In fact, we only have this one worker unit. There are no female outlaws whatsoever that we ever see. I guess they're just in the houses somewhere. All right, there we go. So you get me all that lumber. And we do need some food, but we also want some more workers first. We have, yeah, we probably want like 15 or so of these guys. Let's queue up some liquor. And we don't have enough lumber to queue up more. I don't think this gets automatically queued up just like fields are, but uh, we can check. It definitely wasn't in the initial version of the game. Yeah. We have the band leader here. The band leader is fairly powerful, but for the most part he's just identical to the other leader characters. I think they are all identical. This, well, the, the Native American one can swim and regenerate. This one here can regenerate once you have the text. So I guess they're a little bit different, but that's more a perk of their... of their... their faction rather than a difference here. So let's see whether this auto queues anything, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I think we have to do that manually. But at least you can just queue up a bunch of liquor here. But as you can see, this takes a while, so... We need to, yeah, so it doesn't do that automatically, but that's okay. We're going to build some more distilleries here to speed that up. We want probably at least like eight or so. That sounds like a lot, but believe me, you need a lot of these because they all take quite a while to brew that liquor. So if you want to have a good flow in any reasonable amount of time, we're going to need a, a decent amount of distilleries here. So maybe we get something like six or so in the beginning, then we can at least queue them up fully and then get our food production going there. And they'll only give you, I think, 20 food per... I think it's 20 or 40, I think it's 40. I think we only have produced one of these so far. And before we do any more of that, we also want just more lumber workers. And we should probably get the axe upgrade too. So let's just get another distillery here. Yeah, let's get that first. Because, oh, I don't have enough lumber for that, naturally. But that's okay, we're going to get there soon. We don't really have to worry about attacks too much for the time being. So, yeah, we should be safe. Safe-ish. Okay, now let's just wait a little bit. Ah, two, I suppose we don't really need three of you for that. We can just use two. So the, the rest of you actually does some work and doesn't just sit around. And the good thing about the distilleries is that they do save a lot of space. Then again, you can also, you need less fields than you need distilleries, so there's that, I guess. Anyway, we want to train some more of these guys here. And let's queue up some more liquor here. And that's pretty much all I have to say at this point here. We do get access to the outlaw's basic unit, the barber here. The barber is very similar to the cowboy gaucho. Yeah, the cowboy and the gaucho. He has a handgun and not really much else. It's the only black unit in the game and it's part of the criminal faction, so just, just saying. Just, just saying. And are we even... Yeah, we should queue up some more here. Yeah, if you have a lot of distilleries, that gives you a good flow, but it also means you need to queue up liquor here all the time, which is uh, a little bit annoying, but whatever. Okay, how many of you do I have here? Decent amount, but I think I want even more. Probably like three more or so. Maybe. So there should be enough distilleries for the time being. At least I can't really feed more than we have here. So we're just going to go with those. We can, of course, just queue up everything in one. But the downside of that is that we won't produce liquor quickly then. We're just going to produce it steadily and we want it quickly, or well, at least at a reasonable pace, let's put it that way. There's cut more trees here. How much gold is left here? Oh, 
more than one third down and you're just one guy so well well done more liquor please and you're almost done here so more there and more here and more there yeah filling up all these distilleries here gets pretty old because there's no auto renewal here i think what this game should have instead is a button that just means always produce liquor unless you switch it off that would be and not only more convenient but would also make this just a little bit more playable where are oh you, you two guys are also lumbering here that's good we would have 300, 300 lumber 300 food units soon however and we're not really going to get attacked here unless we provoke the enemy so we don't have to worry too much about that here I'm, I'm still convinced these trees here are closer than those trees but what do i know so you guys come back and then we're going to collect enough food then we're going to build a saloon that's our basic production structure for units that is we have indeed collected enough food which leads us to phase two of of this mission here so we have to steal some wagons and then steal guns from these warehouses and also destroy the sheriff's office because we're the outlaws so naturally you have to destroy the sheriff's office and how, so how many guys do we have here yeah, we want we have nine so probably 10 11 12, 13 14 you know what let's get 15 of these guys here sounds like overkill i don't think it is you can really use that much that much uh liquor here let's build these here so here we can research tech that's actually kind of nice because that means you don't need to worry about building a tech building for example the mexicans and the americans need to build or at least used to build their their fort first and for that you need a like sheriff's office or a trapper's hut and then you can finally build your arms factory which is also really expensive and then you get the upgrade so that's a bit inconvenient but these guys here have a little bit of an easier time for that okay and do we want another carpentry workshop here maybe at one point but for the time being i think we're good and we also have a decent amount of of lumber we can invest in liquor here there we go that's not too bad and you're, you're here as well there we go and now we have a decent flow of of lumber here but we also want at least one more saloon so we can produce units a bit faster but let's queue up just a little more liquor here there we go so i think now we're producing yeah we're producing liquor everywhere that's going to give us a nice amount of food and yeah this is not overkill you probably want that there's 16 guys maybe that is a little overkill but as you can see we're spending this this very quickly we're not we're not gaining food at a rapid pace so it's not like this is outrageous you can actually i think i miscalculated here a little bit but you know what we still have enough pop slots left but before we get anything else we're going to get a second saloon i guess we can build that right here if there was enough space good enough and specify this assemble location we don't get the regeneration why am i why did i try do i really need to train that many or whatever so how many do i have here anyway okay that's like 18 guys that's uh, whatever well I'll, I'll take it that forest is not going to last forever so there we go just some more of this here and we're out again yeah we're going, we're going to get food here at a decent rate but it's not that much so what we have now that gets us four barbers that's just our, that's our basic unit anyway what we also want is a no gold warehouse we don't need that distillery hotel boarding house yeah Let's get one of those they look very boarded up that's for sure get me all that lumber i'm going to turn into all that liquor Yeah, this is going to be fine at one point we're going to have enough lumber to just fill up all these distilleries here and then we're going to have some good a good flow here maybe that would be another solution if you had just one queue for all your distilleries for all the ones you own that would be pretty neat as well 
alas, we do not. Let's actually get that hotel going. That's an advanced production structure. I'm not quite sure what's a hotel, but I'll, I'll take it. It's neat. I like the design of these structures. They look, they look pretty neat. They look like this old west prop town. I'm not quite sure how representative that is. I've been in one in one like leftover old west town. It's not really a it's not really a true ghost town because it it was preserved. That one was in not quite like the the super western old west. That one was in uh, in Missouri. So it, it was more like I guess like a, a settler's town. So and that's now essentially a museum. So it looked similar enough. So this one I guess this game here is fairly cliche in some regards. But at the same time, it's not like everything was completely made up. So, there we go. Got a hotel here. The hotel's going to allow us to... Uh, okay, so... Oh, yeah, this unlocks the, the Whipcracker. The Whipcracker is a melee unit, good against horses, kind of like a spear guy. To be perfectly honest, the Whipcracker isn't all that great. We might build some at one point if you encounter a lot of horses, but for the most part, I'm probably not going to bother too much with it and we can start producing uh, barbas in fact i'm not quite sure why i haven't done that already if we want to there we go and more of you then you can assemble here and we're going to you know what may as well max out our pop so you guys are done here you're also going to get me lumber should i build another carpentry i guess I could build another carpentry workshop here once i have all of this lumber here why did you guys walk over there? Just because that one, that one, uh, yep, yeah, we are welcome indeed. Just because that one tree there just collapsed. You could have just gone to the next tree there. This, I'm not convinced this is the most efficient way of handling the situation here, but whatever. Whatever. So, yeah, we need more. We need more wood and everything. We're going to get there. First, we're going to produce one one whole troop of these guys here, and then we're going to. Hmm, should I just get another saloon? That's the true question here. Maybe. Also, I have exactly a thousand. You know what? Let's get another saloon. Yeah, let's just do that. And in the meantime, let's queue up more liquor here. Let's produce two units at least. Yeah, at least two units in every distillery here. And we're going to have a good deal more food soon. And once we move out to to get some of the objectives done, we're also going to have some time where we can just gather resources and whatnot. Okay, there we go. This should definitely give us enough enough production queues that you don't have to worry about getting food faster than we can utilize it. Okay, so more of you here, more of you. Yeah, but as you can see, we just burn through, it always looks like we have that much lumber. We, we, we burn through all of that quickly. It never lasts as long as you might think it does. And if you don't have that many distilleries, then we're not going to produce it as an adequate rate. All right, here we go. To be honest, uh, 15 or 20 of these guys isn't all that much because with other factions, you're going to have like 15 field workers plus probably 10 lumber workers. So it's, it's not actually all that much. We might still save some, still save some resources here. There we go. And just build these. I probably don't need all the pop I can get, but we may as well. There we go, we are getting close to a full troop, which is nice. Here we go, there we go. These are these are already out of queued up lumber again. But that's fine. Nevertheless, I want to max out my pop here soon, so these guys can go work their magic in the woods there as well. And we're almost here anyway. So there we go. And that's nice. At least if you keep queuing stuff up like this, then I just get like large, large amount of, of of food at one point, which may or may not be 
good. I prefer to get it more steadily. I've commented on that um, while playing Command Conquer General Zero Hour, where I prefer the Chinese and GLA money production structures over the American one, because they just give me money more steadily, which for me makes it easier to manage. Even though I think they might just still give you the same the same amount of money over time. All right, got a decent amount of you here, and let's just queue up like a full queue here, and then we're going to move out and shoot everyone. So who's up? Oh, you're not training anyone right now, so you get a bunch of guys set up here, and more lumber. I'm tempted to just queue up a couple of these here like that because, quite frankly, it's. <laughs> It's so fiddly to always go after... Oh, don't have enough food. Why did I try that? I clearly didn't have enough food. It's a bit fiddly to always like go through all of these, these here one by one. So I'm just going to make bigger queues in some of them. So let's cross the river and go down here. And then we're going to we're going to liberate this first warehouse here before we go after okay. after the first transport wagon. But we're going to get to that. Okay. There we go. There's some fortifications here, of course. And uh, there's actually a decent amount of troops there, but we have a lot of barbers. Okay, let's just have these guys here come to us. There we go. And yeah, there's a decent amount of troops, but if you concentrate our firepower, yeah, these guys just fall in one shot. Big advantage of the Mexicans and the outlaws against the uh, versus the Native Americans because we here don't have to worry about You know what? You can actually get a horse. You already got a horse. I didn't even intend for that to happen, but that's okay. So first thing we're going to do is destroy this trapper hut here because they might actually... Okay, and then we're going to queue up all the all the liquor here, all of it. And Yeah, let's destroy all their stuff here. Oh hey there, come on commander, not commandante, these are not Mexicans. You know what you just go into whole ground mode. Haven't lost anyone yet. But our units don't regenerate, so whenever they're damaged, they will stay damaged, at least in this mission here. We're going to get the regeneration ability later. But yeah, that's that's later. Okay, someone please kill this cowboy, thank you. Also kill this ranch here, because we want to make sure that they don't produce more cowboys there. And we, when we send our wagon down here, we also want to be like unmolested by whatever they, they might send after us here. And there we go. Just kill all these field workers here. Should not be a problem. Yep, yeah, and destroy the farm. Okay, then more of you here. And more liquor. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do it like this here because I'm just that lazy. There we go. Destroy all the farms. Yeah, these guys also get an attack bonus when they're mounted, just like the units of other factions. Isn't that convenient? And let's kill all their lumber workers. Oh, double kill. There we go, goodbye. Let's kill their sawmill here, that went a lot faster than I thought it would. And let's just wipe out. Well, let's wipe them out completely, because I really want to make sure that these guys don't molest us again. The main reason for that is that you only get two wagons in this entire scenario here. If you lose if you lose both of them, you just lose. And if you lose one of them, it will double the time you need to actually howl over all the all the stuff. You need to howl over, so that's just not very convenient. So we are welcome, I'm pretty sure. So you know what? Maybe I didn't need quite that many distilleries, but you know what? Oh hey, hey there commander. How about you give me your horse? Thank you. 
Yeah, we're going to lose guys sooner or later because we don't regenerate and can't be healed, so there's that. We don't really need to destroy all these houses here, that's not necessary. Do they have any gold left here? Not that I really need that. They do! 200, not gonna bother with that. Not gonna bother with that. Ooh, we've got another full troop here. Wow, even more than that, even. Okay, we're super ready to, to take on the next step here. Where's my leader? There you are. Yeah, we might even have enough firepower for the rest of, of the scenario here. And for the time being, just I was going to queue up more, more liquor here. There we go. Yeah, this is way more convenient. Now I have a really good flow of food, which means I can just flood the entire map with with cheap barbar units here. Once these actually arrive, you follow us here. And here. You can also leave your base here, but that's that spot is actually garrisoned by an army garrison, and those are like proper infantry and stuff, so those those guys don't mess around. That's not just trappers. Okay, so you can attack stuff here. Well, you destroy this tower here. Is there even anyone inside? Oh yeah, I'm just cowboys and trappers, so nothing too scary. There we go, so the, the wagon is now mine. And that means we can get it to howl our... Oh, there's a second wagon, great. Oh, and it's guarded by trappers and stuff. You will not destroy my wagon here, it's way too valuable. Oh snap. The cavalry has arrived. Okay, all right, so we have the wagons and the wagons are mostly intact. So we're going to have those wagons haul weapons. And uh, minimal losses. Oh, my leader is still alive, nice, nice. Okay, so there's actually a wrench down here, but they don't really attack you regularly. So you don't have to worry about those guys, I think. We could just wipe them out. Huh. That would probably be safer question is do we need that I don't think we do instead oh hoo, 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 look at that oh teal did not like us stealing their stuff here definitely they have showers showers are pretty powerful this is still fine we're going to just queue up a couple more of these guys and we can reinforce them conveniently soon for now, we're just going to press forward. Not going to bother with all the horses here. It's, it's too much, too much work. And you guys are getting me those guns. Nice, nice. Awesome. You please advance over the river. And I think we're going to take out the sheriff's office and whatnot first, because it's just easier to do. So, but we might do something else before that. Just come over here. And here we are. Okay, so here is the garrison that these guys have. The good thing is that they I don't think they really produce anything here. Because they don't have they don't have much pop. There we go. Just come over here. Yeah, I think they only have these lumber guys here, and I don't think they have any other buildings that give them pop. So they're stuck with what they have here. Also, red settlers look pretty sweet. I like the color scheme here. Oh no, you're not going to you're not going to escape. Thank you. We do need to wipe out these guys here, but we're going to do it nevertheless. Oh, we got these guys' attention here. That's okay. These guys here are way more powerful than our Barbas, so we probably want to go down here and murder all of them. Even though we still have the advantage of just having quantitatively more stuff. There we go, and let's get in here. There's probably just more soldiers in there. But it's a f it's fine, it's just a watchtower. There we go. Oh, it's cavalrymen, of course. Why, why wouldn't you put those into a tower? 
And there we go. Everybody's dead. Awesome. So you... So we're going to have you fill up your ranks. And you are going to do the same. There we go. And the rest can stay there for reasons. And let's just queue up more liquor. All the liquor. Yeah, now we have some... Getting some good food here. Eight distilleries. I guess six would have been sufficient. But you know what? You never know. I and mean, it's not like we don't have enough lumber. There we go. Awesome. So let's destroy that sheriff's office before we do anything else. Because that will secure... Uh, where do we want... To? Let's, let's go down here. That's going to secure the, the road for our wagons later. So we only need to haul two more guns here. That is great. And you will have noticed they give you a lot of, of lumber on this map here. So there's a reason for that. You're going to turn all of that into hard liquor. Oh, hey there. Teal. Oh, man, you're still here. You were waiting for me. Don't deny it. With your deputy sheriffs. There we go. Hmm, still didn't lose a guy. But I also got a bunch of fresh guys. Hello, cowboy. Hello, Commander. Thank you for showing up here so I can kill you right away. That was very convenient indeed. Let's just destroy their HQ because, well, we don't really have anything else to do here. Oh, hey there, Trapper. You're going to produce more of these here in the future, aren't you? In this case, let's just destroy these production facilities here because that won't take long. And it makes it a lot easier for us later. And you, you can try to repair that. You're not fast enough. Oh, careful here. Time to kill all of you. And you can take that out in the meantime. Just shoot everyone. And these guys are persistent. They have a lot of stuff. The only reason why they aren't super threatening is because they don't come after you. There we go. Oh, and yeah, they they just keep coming and coming. But that's alright. Oh, hey there, nurse. Not time for you to die. And I don't know why I destroyed that general store. That's not really not that important, but that's okay. No, wor no worries. Everyone's going to die. This is also a production facility, this church here, so it also needs to be destroyed. And... But we have so much firepower here, they don't really stand a chance. Hey there, cowboys. Howdy, buckaroo. How are you doing today? Okay, let's march onto the, the sheriff's office. And let's maybe destroy these guys here so they don't rebuild. I always say that and then I do something else anyway. So they have a bank here. We can actually rob that. But there's no need because we don't need the gold. So you can you can rob that with your basic units and you don't need to research anything for that because we're the outlaws. So we don't need to worry about researching, robbing and stealing. We can just do that. As you could see with the wagons. The wagons would just... They would just... Uh, go after uh, we could just stand next to them that would be ours all right let's fill the gaps here and there we go you've destroyed the sheriff's office great it sounds really sarcastic like fantastic oh yeah we get these rifle guys here that's one of our better units and we kind of sort of ignored those guys but it doesn't really matter yeah we're just going to liberate that Weapons cache in the north, and then we're going to going to go after those guys. We can take the rifle guys along because there's, there's no real reason not to do it. I could have done that earlier because I received a couple of them a while ago, but I kind of forgot about it, so never mind. But it, we don't really need them. They are a nice addition, but they're not necessary. I don't think we can build them here. I think we just receive them. So and we still keep the rifles. So I don't know how that works, but whatever. Oh, I'll have it. Should be a crossing somewhere here. That looks good. How much gold is in their gold mine here anyway? Ah, not, not as much as I thought there would be. Okay. 
So this here is well guarded. Well, well moderately well guarded. It's like cowboys and trappers and whatnot. Better guarded than the, the other, other place there. And where are my wagons? You can already come up here. They are the rifle guys. You can join me here while we wipe out everything. And they concentrate their forces here. You can see that too. I'm going to make you the new group 3 so this gets mildly less confusing. With the hotkeys. Hey there, Commander. Let's take out this hut here. And... Yep, they produced one last trapper here, but that's okay. I'm just going to tear through this entire place here. But first, let's take out their HQ. Oh, oh you, can, oh, you can actually enter through here. I didn't even pay any attention to that. There aren't even towers. Okay, I could have done that. Never mind. These guys here just can't be bothered for some reason. That's okay. Maybe just too far away or so. There we go, and let's destroy everything. Just come down here, and at least we have to take out all production facilities. You can destroy this, you destroy that. And of course, they're workers. Houses don't really have priority. Here we go. But we're going to burn them down nevertheless, because we don't really have anything else to do right now. So, yeah. Hey there, workers. And there we go. There's also a ranch down here. Uh, that doesn't really do anything, but I did send some guys after us, so there's that, I guess. Also, this guy here is just cutting lumber and pretends nothing's happening. But not with us. Awesome, here we go. Uh, let's just check out this corner here, because you never know where they might be hiding. Lost all the horse guys because those always fall first because they tend to sprint ahead. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Awesome. In this case, you can come down here. All of you. Just going to assault that wrench there for no real reason. Even though we're probably going to finish this mission here before that even happens. Yeah, overall, this is not that different. That, uh, that different from a, a lot of the Mexican missions we fought where you just spam gauchos. Here you don't really have many other units anyway, and the whip guys are just not that um, not that efficient. As we can queue up some more liquor here if we really want to. And damn, do we have a lot of lumber? Let's see how. Let's see whether we can queue up all the all the distilleries here. Ah, we could maybe. Let's see. That's going to give us a very high amount of food. Here we go, and. There we go, yeah. So that's going to give us a ton more. It's 750 per distillery, that's pretty good. And you really want to want both of these wagons here, otherwise this just takes forever. There we go, but they're almost done anyway, so I don't think we're even going to reach the spot here before we finish this, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, we've got more rifle guys for that. Yeah, I could have utilized those, but they are a lot stronger than the basic guys. They have a, and they carry these like flags, like flags on a parade. When they when they stand still, yeah, they 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 hold us like well, I don't know battle axe or so. They have a hundred hit points, ten attack. These guys here have eighty hit points, eight attack. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe not that much, not enough of a difference to justify their gold cost and the fact that you need rifles for them, which we can't. We can only steal and and purchase rifles. We can't produce them ourselves, which is a bit of a shame, but that's how it is. We're not going to rely on rifle units anyway, because we barely have any. We also don't get the rifle upgrades, we only get the six-shooter upgrades. Or I guess like gun upgrades, or handgun upgrades. Hello, cowboys. There we go. You, ah, you going to pacifist mode here and we're just going to blow up this this ranch here for no real reason so we have nothing else to do
Okay, hey there. These guys are just carrying some lumber. And now they're all going to die. There we go. And the game crashed, but that's okay. That was the first scenario for the Outlaws. I shall see you next time. Take care, goodbye.